what is this funny little plant that we're growing in this uh, rain collection tub? Stay tuned to find out. Well, I'm standing outside of our uh, greenhouse right now and uh, kind of on the topic of what I'm going to call aquaponics, aquaculture, growing fish and aquatics. I'm just going to call it that. So we've been experimenting with this for a little while and one of the things that we've found that's an amazingly productive but also very useful plant in the kind of setup that we are using, I'm going to show you right now. So this is sort of our longest used or longest in use rain barrel. It's an IBC tote. So, you know, you have quite a volume there. We have it collecting rainwater, as you see from the greenhouse. I think we have a video where we kind of set this up. And what we have growing in there, both last year and this year, is goldfish. Fish have been raised in gardens for a very long time. Uh, there's quite an association with some cultures of that practice. I mean, the most famous example is the lowly goldfish. It has been domesticated for far longer than any other species of fish and it has resided for the most part in the garden. Now in modern times we tend to separate water gardens from food production gardens but uh, what I'm about to show you in a minute may be the future of a very simple setup to sort of bring the two back together. So some of you may have already guessed what this is but this is salvinia. It's basically a floating plant and it's actually a small floating fern uh, which is quite intriguing. But I'll show you here. If I flip it over, it grows little rootlets, and uh, if I submerse it, you can kind of see it's uh, what is that like hydrophobic? Basically, it will uh, shed water, and that's how it how it floats. It also reproduces fairly quickly, as you can see. This is carpeting pretty much the entire top of this IBC tote. And what's really fascinating about it is it definitely takes a lot of nutrients out of the water quickly. And uh, that's a good thing when you're raising fish. So some of you might be asking, where's the duckweed? Now, we do grow duckweed, and duckweed, of course, is a really fantastic, very simple plant that you can grow as a food plant, not only for fish, goldfish love it, you can also feed it to chickens and other poultry, and technically it's edible by humans, and it has a relatively high protein content, which is what makes it such a good food item. Now, Salvinia is not quite as good of a food item for animals in general. We've tried some experiments trying to feed it to the uh, chickens, and I really love it. In fact, uh, they will pretty much leave it, given the opportunity. The goldfish don't eat it. So why is this such a miracle plant? Well, because it grows so fast, it's sucking a lot of nutrients out of the water, which when you're raising fish, that's a good thing because that's gonna help with your ammonia and nitrate levels and all that fun stuff. But it reproduces through sort of division so fast that we can also turn this into a compost. This is a fantastic green compost to sort of keep that brown matter going. So this is actually the second time this week that I've had to do this. As the temperatures are kind of increasing, I'm collecting some of this top matter specifically to take it to the compost because it's sequestered quite a bit of uh, nutrients out of here. And although you could probably leave it to keep growing, you do want a little bit of light to get in here because I have actually put some other aquatic plants uh, in this tub or this tote. All I'm really doing is taking this little bit out to get a little bit of surface area that's not covered by the plants. Now another fantastic thing that this plant does is it provides an excellent environment to sort of harbor both microorganisms to feed but also cover to protect fry. So if you're raising fish that may otherwise eat their young this provides a pretty good floating uh, mat that they can hide in. And the little bit that I'm taking out here really won't affect the productivity of this. As long as the uh, temperatures stay high, this stuff is growing like absolute mad. So this is probably going to be really hard to show you, but uh, you can see I do have some other aquatic plants in there. And right down here, probably not showing up, but there's some goldfish fry. If I move some of this plant away, there's another one. It's difficult to see. But these are basically growing in the IBC tote, the rain barrel, 
with their parents, which are, uh, you can see down there, some Blackmore goldfish. So definitely a fancy goldfish, but from a gardening perspective, this little system of rainwater collection, fertilization of your rainwater by the goldfish, the production of goldfish, which can be used to feed other livestock, and also the production of uh, the salvinia, which there's a little uh, fry right there. You can see they've actually grown to a pretty good size in a pretty short period of time. And uh, here come the adults. So there's kind of everybody, a big happy family, all in one, uh, one shot. And these fish haven't been in here very long, but uh, this is almost like a little ecosystem in a tote, for lack of a better way to put it. And I really do think, as we kind of watch these fish swim around, that uh, the use of fish, goldfish, and other species in the home garden is uh, really understated in modern times because the benefits are huge. So as I say, I'm going to complete this proverbial circle of garden, goldfish, rainwater collection, aquatic plant production, and uh, other livestock as I take this little bit of harvested salvinia over to the tumbling compost. So here's the next part of the equation. I'm now standing in one of our chicken coops. You can see a silky rooster there in the background. What we decided to do was we have two of these tumbling composters and uh, we quite like them for certain things but we decided let's move it to the chicken coop the chicken run because let's face it there's insects grow inside these and as you can sort of see there's holes in the side so when we tumble this insects fall out as the insects are produced inside there beetle larva that sort of thing a lot of them do fall out and the chickens get the benefit of it but as you can see, we've got a lot of brown matter in here because this particular composter we filled up quite a bit during the winter months when that's mostly what we had. So taking a percentage of these uh, aquatic plants and dumping them in here and tumbling them around is just kind of uh, adding to that nutrient cycle. I mean, it's part of the thing of raising the plants in the barrel. You're going to have to harvest them and uh, this is definitely a good use for them. So we'll touch on this system a little bit more in the future. This is kind of in its infancy, but so far it's working pretty well. But I know the question is going to come up. Why bother with all of this? And to be honest, it's a valid argument. You could say, I don't need to do it. But in the long term, we're trying to close those loops. We're trying to figure out ways of, A, doing the water collection. Doing the water collection comes with the issue of mosquitoes. Part of the solution to that is to raise fish in the rain barrels. And our, I say barrels, but our IBC toes are quite large. So you have a lot of volume of water and the fish can stay in pretty good shape. The fish produce waste. The addition of the aquatic plants helps to mitigate that. We also are basically doing constant water changes because when we get to certain parts of the year that we have to water the raised beds and the garden a lot, you're constantly changing that water. Now, in an ideal situation, you're getting more rainwater to fill that up. In the middle of the summer, we still have to top it up with some well water, but it is significantly reducing the amount of well water that we have to use. So it's kind of a win-win situation. Now, on top of that, we're also producing fish. As you saw, they're breeding in that, uh, in that tote, which is awesome. And you could really insert kind of any species you want. I mean, we're raising goldfish because we find them quite easy but there may be some other experiments in the uh, near future, so stay tuned for that. So in this video today, uh, just kind of as a bit of a recap with this system, it's just a normal IBC tote collecting rainwater. As I said, we do have to top it up from time to time because you want to keep the goldfish healthy and happy, but it's very simple. There's no aeration, there's no filtration, it's just plants. And uh, those plants can go on to produce biomass that can be used for composting, and the whole system complements the garden and the production of chickens really well. So something to think about. It's simple. It's not flashy and uh, kind of is what it is. But uh, we're definitely impressed with this uh, salvinia plant as a productive component of our aquaculture projects.